In this lesson, we will be calculating actual activity price for the activity type we are using. You might remember this slide from the previous product costing course. As we are using a simplified scenario, we do not need to perform actual distributions or actual assessments. The only step we need to do before running the actual activity price calculation is to conduct actual cost splitting. As we have discussed before, we won't be revaluing manufacturing orders using actual costs. Instead of order revaluation, Material Ledger will be using actual prices to revaluate materials during Material Ledger closing. This revaluation of materials will clear out all under or over absorptions of the manufacturing cost centers. Before we can calculate actual activity prices, we need some actual costs to the system. Let's go to transaction FB50 to post some expenses for our company. First, we need to enter a date for our document. Remember to confirm that the system is proposing a correct company code. If the company is wrong, you can change it using the company code button here. Next, we enter a GL account for the debit side entry. I enter the GL account for direct wages and select debit. Let's post 2 million won as the direct wages costs for the first manufacturing call center. I enter the amount here and the cost center number here. Let's assume that the wages were paid in cash from the bank account of our company. I enter a corresponding GL account for the credit side and copy the same amount here. You will notice that the status will turn to green after we have entered this corresponding credit entry. The document is now ready so we can post it. After posting, the system will create both a financial accounting document and a controlling document. Please feel free to post some expenses for all the GL accounts used in our scenario for all the call centers. You can see all the GL accounts I have been using from the Excel file. I have already recorded costs for all the accounts, so I'm ready to move forward. After we have some actual costs posted for the period, we can calculate actual activity price for the machine hours activity type we are using. Let's open transaction KSS2 to perform actual cost splitting. This call center group pulp includes all the manufacturing call centers. Enter the period you are about to close and run the transaction. Next, let's open transaction KSII. Just enter the period you are closing and remember to run the transaction also without using the test mode. After we have ran KSII, we are ready to start the settlement process for the process orders we have created.